I've been talking about my uh, snorkel lift. It's a Uno 33E. It's an electric unit, and it's really in pretty good shape. It's got a little flaws in it and some, you know, little quirks that uh, we're going to work on today. One of them is a leak that's gotten out of control. Um, the tilt for the, the bucket, that cylinder was leaking, and um, tried to tried to diaper it and everything else to get through so uh, just it's just dripping everywhere so we're gonna take care of that let's get at it so right up here we need to take we need to take this bolt out and this pin out and it should go out the other way and then up here on top we've got these four bolts and that holds the mounting bracket for the other side of the cylinder on the other end of the cylinder, sorry. And uh, also holds, on the outside, holds this plate that holds your uh, your tube your tube channel. So anyway, so we're gonna take these four bolts out. We've got uh, a couple of fittings uh, for hydraulic fluid here that we're gonna have to take out. And then you can probably see right there where it's, it's just running out now it's not squirting out but it's running out and it looks like somebody else has been into this before so that's probably gonna be a pain but anyway so we'll get this off we'll take it over the bench see if we can get this fixed in the meantime I'm gonna try to take a little of the weight off of it with this ladder little step ladder it's rated for 250 pounds um, so we'll see how that works so you guys let me know if it squashes the ladder As I was saying it's a pretty good machine we've had pretty good luck with it we did have to put a full set of batteries in it and I would surely advise anybody if you're gonna own a machine like this keep the batteries up people think about how expensive they are but in the long run it's cheaper than fuel and there's no oil changes and a whole lot less to deal with so I really like them. See what size that is. I was going to try to make it through a few more days before I did this. I thought, well, I'll wait till rain day, and uh, that just it just wasn't going. It wasn't going to cooperate. Okay, so there's that one. That may be the only one on there. I'd find that surprising, but hey, we'll, we'll figure it out. One way or the other. Okay, so that's out. We can put that there and it can lay in the oil. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, uh, Rustin. Let's get a little tap, tap, tap. Oh yeah, that's going to come out easier than we probably want it to. Uh, really, really love this machine. It, uh, it's old. 
I wasn't sure if I was going to get taken on or not. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't moving too good when I bought it. But I think, I think we can save it. What I've got here is an adjustable punch. A lot of people think that these are an extension, but they're actually an adjustable punch. So I've got to take a little more weight off this bucket. One nice thing about electric machine is I can do that and uh, don't lose a bunch of fluid. If it was gas, I'd pump fluid everywhere. Okay, let's see if we can get the inside bracket off here. I'm going to put this strap on to hold these hoses up so they don't fall down. I need to get those marked so I'll remember which one goes where. Okay, so that's good enough. That'll work just fine. Okay, so let's take this over the bench and see if we can get her fixed up. Okay, so we got her over on the bench now. Let's see if we can uh, get the retainer out of it and uh, get the cylinder end out. You know, the cylinder looks really good inside and I just don't think there's anything wrong with it other than this gland seal right here the packing or inside the, the gland seal that's kind of a dust cover seal but um, so what we'll do is we'll take all this apart here we'll take all this part slide this off and then this can slide out and there's going to be seals and rent and and uh, grooves inside this so we're gonna we're gonna take this apart so we can get to those Always remember, everything's a hammer if you use it wrong enough. And now this may be a little tighter. We may have to get some uh, get some leverage here. Get this out of the way. Gonna be that's gonna be gooten tight. So anyway, well, I'll get something kind of rigged up here so we can get that thing apart. So I ended up bringing it back into the machine and putting the pin back through it, and uh, now I've got me a bar and. Uh, It's just that easy. So all that, just to get that nut loose. 
but it was tight enough that it just wasn't going to happen without some something really holding it tight. After I get this nut off, we'll pull these off and see what's leaking. I'm pretty sure I know exactly where it's at, but uh, we'll know more here in just a minute. Well, that last seal didn't come out, it just fell out, so that's probably, it's probably worn out really bad. I don't know if you can see all that crap. kit came with you'd be amazed at how much these little kits cost well that seals in there what I would say that seals in there backwards just tell me what you think but I just feel like it shouldn't go that way. So what I do in this case, is I take a picture of it. I take a it. picture of it with the part number on it. That way I've got a record of it in case it starts leaking. That way I know where it is and I've got the part and number. Take it back out. Most of what we found in the end of that cylinder is uh, garbage that was in there was debris off this off this seal. It's just disintegrated. But it's been working. So I'm really glad we caught this now before all that debris found its way into the system or the filter or clogged up a valve. Somebody's been into this before. Which is not surprising. But the way some of these seals look they, they seem to be in pretty good shape and they feel pretty pretty good sometimes sometimes this kind of stuff they get to being pretty scuzzy that seal was in really bad shape it's all it's all disintegrated and that's what we were finding in the end of that cylinder so probably that seal gave up these right here they come off with a slit in them and then the uh, this o-ring has got a shoulder to it for those to ride in. Now I normally that cut in there I'll clock those 180 degrees from each other. I'll flip it over this way. I may regret it, but I'm going to put it in there opposite the way they had it. I just don't, I just don't feel good about the way they had it. I can get a, I can get a new seal for it. 
in no time here in town. Now would be a great time to take a second and hit the like button for us. So out of frame there, I went ahead and snugged it up on the machine again, just like we took it apart only in reverse. Okay, so tapped in back together. Let's go see if we can get it on the motion. So get, let's give it a little test and see if it's leaking. And then I'll, uh, I'll top off the, the fluids in it and uh, we'll call this one fixed. That is if it's fixed. And then all I've got left to do is the clean up. And I won't make you, I won't film the clean up because it's full of shame and profanity. So let's see. Uh, well, holding in there so far. That's platform all the way up. Seal seems dry. Going down. I'm gonna lose everything out of my bucket there. So I'd say, I'd say in this moment that's a success. The uh, the lines are old and, and dry rotted, but they don't seem to be leaking. So we'll keep an eye on those and uh, maybe pull those out in the next next video on this machine. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, and if you like this video, you'll probably like the one listed here. Check it out. We'll see you next time.